Hi, this is Andy from Orbit Media, and I'm making this quick video to show you how to share permissions within Google Analytics. Data is better when you share it with friends, and consulting adult marketers share data all the time. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But you have to grant access to Google Analytics in a way that is responsible and doesn't add any risk to your marketing. And it starts by making sure that you have total control and the master key to control your analytics. So we're going to confirm that first, and then we will add another account to our Google Analytics. Ready? Here we go. So here we are in Analytics. I'm going to go to the Admin section by clicking this gear in the bottom left. And now right away we see three different columns. The first column is the account level, the middle column is the property level, and the column on the far right is the view. So this is kind of like grandpa. These are the parents, and over here these are the kids. So when you grant access at the account level, it automatically grants access at all of the lower levels. Similarly, when you grant access at the property level, it grants access to all of the views for that property. So accounts have properties and properties have views. So the ultimate level of access for you is going to be at the account level. You'll notice there's manage users option at each different level. So once we go to manage users, you can see all the different users for that account. This is the users list. And when you click on a user, click on yourself, the account through which you logged in, and you want to confirm that you have manage users level access. The manage user level access at the account level is the master key. It means that you can add other people, you can remove other people, but you need to be careful who else has this level of access because anyone who has this can remove you. So it's worthwhile to take a moment to see who else has this level of access, uh, these level of permissions, and consider pulling that back a little bit so maybe not everybody has the master key to your account. Again, if they have that, they can remove you. So now that we know that we have master level access, uh, we're going to look at adding someone else, maybe at a lower level. Separate from manage users, the three levels of access are edit, collaborate, and read and analyze. If you give someone edit level access, they automatically have collaborate and read and analyze. Similarly, if you give someone collaborate access, they automatically have read and analyze. If someone has edit level access, they can create new properties and new views. They can create filters, they can set up goals, funnels, settings, all kinds of things that they can do in the admin section uh, that are otherwise unavailable to them. If someone has just collaborate level access, they only really can configure reports. They can make dashboards, they can create saved reports, they can create segments. Read and analyze level, that's basically just looking at reports. You can't really do anything that can be saved. There are, I don't think there are any save buttons at all if all you have is read and analyze level access. So with that in mind, every user in Google Analytics has certain permissions at certain levels. So the highest level is manage users level access with edit permissions at the account. The lowest level of access is read and analyze at just one specific view. So I'm going to add another user at the highest level first, and then I'll add someone at a lower level. To add someone at the highest level, I'm just going to go to user management for the account. I'm going to click the big blue button, add user, and I'm going to add one of our other accounts and notify user via email, and then click edit, giving all three levels. I'm gonna give this person manage user at level access and click add. Okay, I just granted the highest level of access maybe to a trusted vendor or an important team member. Similarly, uh, I can come in here to the user management under the view and grant, let's just add with someone at the lowest level of access. So for any of the views, I can do this, choose the view first. Let's do the demo view. Now I'm going to choose just, just this specific view. I'm going to click to add the user and we'll add this account. And I'm just going to leave it at read and analyze and click add. That's it. That's all it takes. Very simple. We just granted manage user level access at the account level for a very trusted partner or uh, important team member. 
And then in just a few clicks, for a specific view, we added just the read and analyze level. That's how to grant someone permission to access your Google Analytics. Uh, it will notify them via email. Uh, you can add anybody at any email address as long as that's registered as a Google account. It doesn't have to be a Gmail account. And uh, it will notify them via email. And now you can start collaborating, start looking at reports, start analyzing, start asking and answering questions, start making better decisions and getting better marketing outcomes uh, by working with friends. Hope this is useful. We'll keep making more of these. Uh, thanks again. And if you like this, we'd be grateful if you shared it with someone else. Uh, see you next time.